every school day, in all kinds of weather and over all kinds of roads, more than 93,000 buses carry nearly 5 million children to school. The men and women who drive these buses must be experienced, careful drivers. You are going to be one of these drivers. How safely you do your job will depend not only on how well you drive, but on how well you take care of your bus. Your bus may be like this one, which is typical of several kinds in common use. It has the important safety features, which should be on every school bus. It has an all-steel body with a wide, safe door at the front. There's safety glass all around. It has a rear emergency door and dual tires. This is a safe bus, well-made and well-equipped. It has a windshield wiper, defroster, heater, safety signals, repair tools, emergency tools, flares, fire extinguisher, chains. But, no matter how well it's made and equipped, it still can't drive itself. The safety record of this bus is up to you. First of all, before taking your bus out, make a daily check. See if there's enough water, gas, and oil. Local regulations may require additional checks. It is sound practice to check the tire pressures with a gauge. At least once a week, check the battery, lights, horn, emergency door, and engine performance. When you start the engine, choke it just enough to make it start easily. Check the gauges while the engine idles. Let the engine reach operating temperature before the bus is put in motion. If you keep the bus in a small garage, open the door before you start the engine. This is to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. Many school buses, like this one, have five speeds forward in addition to reverse. Gear arrangement differs. On this model, low gear, in this position, is used for starting on a hill or in heavy mud or snow. Second gear, the normal starting position on this bus, is here. Third gear is here. Fourth gear is in this position. High gear is here. For reverse, the lever is moved to this position. To put the bus in motion, push in the clutch pedal, move gear lever, release the brake, release the clutch pedal slowly as you accelerate the engine. Make the shifts to high gear easily as the bus picks up speed. Shift successively without skipping any gears and get sufficient momentum before you shift.
Don't race the engine in the lower gears. A daily check should also be made of your brakes as soon as you get out of the garage. When the brakes are applied, the bus should come to a reasonably quick stop. If there's any question about the brakes, have them adjusted before starting the trip. Steering the bus is easier and safer if you keep both hands on the wheel in a comfortable position. However, when making a turn, pull the wheel rather than push it. This gives you better leverage. Slow down when taking a curve and keep on your side of the road. When making turns, be sure to signal your intentions. Never turn until you're sure it's safe. Keep both hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, and your mind on what you're doing. On this bus, double clutching is necessary to ensure smooth gear shifting. It is a means of adjusting gear speeds and engine speeds to each other. The steps in shifting to a higher gear are push in the clutch pedal, let out the accelerator, shift to neutral, let out the clutch pedal, pause slightly, push in the clutch pedal, shift to higher gear, let out the clutch pedal smoothly and accelerate the engine. All shifts from lower to higher gear are done in the same way. Push in the clutch pedal, let out the accelerator, shift to neutral, let out the clutch pedal, pause slightly, push in the clutch pedal, shift gears, let out the clutch pedal and accelerate the engine. Double clutching from higher to lower gear is similar except in one detail. For example, to shift from fifth to fourth, push in the clutch pedal, let out the accelerator, shift to neutral, let out the clutch pedal. Now, here's the difference in shifting to a lower gear. Accelerate the engine slightly. Then, as gear and engine speed synchronize, push in the clutch pedal, shift to fourth, let out the clutch pedal, and accelerate. If you want to use compression as a brake in going downhill, shift to a lower gear by double clutching. Push in the clutch pedal, take your foot off the gas, and shift to neutral. Let out the clutch pedal, accelerate slightly. Push in the clutch pedal, shift to the lower gear, and let out the clutch pedal. Smooth double clutch gear shifting is one of the best indications of a good driver. Smooth, safe stops are a great deal more than just pushing down the brake pedal. A safe following distance, for example, eliminates the cause of most emergency stops. Slow up sufficiently before you come to a full stop. Be especially careful at blind crossings. Maintain a safe driving speed for the road 
or for weather conditions that prevail. Allow an extra margin of safety on wet or icy roads. Always signal your intention to stop. Check traffic conditions in the rear before stopping. To make a normal stop, first take your foot off the accelerator, apply the brake gradually and evenly. When speed has been reduced sufficiently, depress the clutch pedal. As the bus comes to a stop, ease up slightly on the brake pressure to avoid stopping with a jerk. Shift to neutral. Pull up the hand brake and take your foot off the brake pedal. Release pressure on the clutch pedal. Make your stops smoothly. In review, check oil, gas, water and tires before each trip. Inspect the battery, engine performance, lights and doors at least once a week. Use just enough choke to start and never race the engine. Check the gauges before moving the bus. Check the brakes daily. Double clutch for smooth shifting. Grasp the wheel to give best leverage. Always signal before turning. Make your stops smooth. And, above all, drive safely. <laughs>